Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So far in our course, we have covered so many things. In the first part, we have created the Spring Boot application and we have connected to the MongoDB database and we have performed the database operations like creating a document, reading the document, updating the document and deleting the document. And in the second part, we have improved our REST API by setting up some validations so that user cannot able to store the null values or the save the null values if he tries to save the null values and we're going to show some validation messages or the error messages so that the user can send a proper values or the valid values to the mongodb database and in this part we are going to set up a production database and we are going to connect to that production database through the Spring Boot application and we are going to deploy our Spring Boot application to the live web server. So let's begin. In fact, there are so many services available online which provides the production databases. We can provision the production databases for the MongoDB. In fact, the MongoDB team itself has provided a service which is called MongoDB Atlas. It's a cloud based MongoDB database. We can connect to that MongoDB database and we can maintain our documents inside that database. They are also having a um, provided uh, two plans. One is a free plan and a paid plan. So we will be using the free tier. In fact, that is only for the uh, hobby purposes. If you are creating any hobby project or any personal projects, then you can use that free tier. In case if you are going for any client projects, then make sure to use the paid version because that will be more robust. Okay, so now let's go to the browser and see how to set up the production database. So let's go to the browser and search for MongoDB Atlas and make sure to select the first link which is from mongodb.com. First, you need to create an account inside this MongoDB Atlas. You don't have to provide any credit card information for creating the account. It's a free account. Go ahead and create a free account. So once you have created the free account, you will be landed on the home page of this MongoDB Atlas. And by default, it has been created a new project. So in this, in your case, it, the project name would be cluster zero. So in my case, I have uh, created a project name as Spring Boot and MongoDB. By default, the project name would be cluster zero. Okay, so inside this cluster, automatically, once you have uh, landed on this page, it will automatically start creating the cluster. You don't have to go ahead and create a cluster. Inside this cluster, we're going to create the database. So in my case, um, I have created a separate project for this. It, will, it is not creating any cluster. So I will be uh, manually go ahead and creating the cluster. But in your case, uh, it will automatically, uh, after you signed up, automatically you will be landed on this home page and it will be uh, created the project as well as the cluster. So I'll go ahead and create a cluster and it will ask you to choose the cluster, the dedicated multi-region, dedicated clusters and the shared clusters. Make sure to choose the shared clusters because that will be free. And you have to choose a couple of options, which is AWS, the provider. And I will be choosing uh, Mumbai because that is very close to my location. I will be living in India. In case if you are living in other country, make sure to choose the, the nearest location for you. And the cluster tier M0 and the additional settings, which will be MongoDB 4.2, cluster name, cluster zero, leave it as it is. And once you are happy with all, all of these configurations, just click on this create cluster. So this will take a couple of uh, minutes minutes to create the cluster. So I will pause the video and I will come back once the cluster has been created. All right, the cluster has been created. This would take around two to three minutes to create this cluster. Right now there is no data inside our the cluster. So all we need to do is go ahead and click on this connect button. And now we have to set up a few things. So we have to add an IP address so that we can connect to this cluster from anywhere in the world. So for that, we are going to set up an IP address. So click on this add a different IP address and the IP address which we are going to add is 0.0.0.0 slash .0, 0 and click on this add IP address. So that will complete adding an IP address. And the second step is to create a database user. I'm going to call this task manager and the password also I would choose task manager. 
make sure to note down the password because we are going to use this password inside our application.properties inside our Java project. So make sure to note down the project or make sure to remember this password. And once you have given the username and password, click on this create database user. And the next step is to we have to uh, choose the connection method click on this choose connection method in fact there are three uh, ways to connect to the uh, mongodb uh, to get the connection and the one which we are going to use is connect using mongodb compass mongodb compass is a tool uh, it, is, it is a gui application just like robo 3d which will help us to connect to the mongodb uh, URL to this MongoDB database. In fact, from the uh, Robo3T, we cannot connect to this cluster because the Robo3T does not have uh, provide an option for that. Maybe in the future, they are going to address this issue. As of now, they are not supporting to connect to this MongoDB atlas. So that's why we are going to install the MongoDB compass. So make sure to go ahead and choose your platform and download the software. I have already downloaded and installed so take your time and download it and install it so i will see you in the next video